That's right. I mean, it may be chilly outside, but we have spring on our minds, and that means we have Dairy Castle in our bellies this morning. So we've been talking about all the ice cream goods. I've already passed ice cream school. I just want to make that very clear, <laughs> Julie. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Damien, so you guys have so much on the menu. How many different variations of ice cream do you have, like options? Well, we have five flavors of ice cream, the chocolate, the vanilla, the orange, and then we also have the non-dairy, strawberry, pineapple, and nice. coconut. So everything we have comes from those ice creams, but from those, we have quite a few options. The milkshakes, the flurries where we mix candies in. We can do sundaes where all sorts of fruit toppings, the hot oh. fudge, hot caramel sundae, obviously, and the dip cones and all the other cones. So quite cones. a few variations come from just those few flavors. And with that ice cream, you're not only known for that, you're known for iconic chili dogs. Yes. So you're going to show us how you make those <laughs> chili dogs. Yep. Why does that go hand in hand, you think? Why is that what people it's look just, for? I think it's just Americana. Chili yeah. dogs and ice cream, it, you know, always has been, always will be, we hope. But uh, our best sellers are probably our two chili dog combo. So we get a drink. So this is the combo, so you literally this is, get It's a one of our best two. sellers. We get a lot of, at the lunchtime, we get a lot of the uh, lunch crowd is getting our two chili dogs, our best sellers. We also have barbecue sandwiches. Uh, tacos in a bag are pretty oh. famous. You were talking about those, those tacos a bit. in a bag. That's like a bag of chips with chili and cheese it's, stuck it's, in it, right? Yep. It's a bag of Fritos, although sometimes they'll get Doritos. Yes, that's my favorite. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Wrong too hand. early, too early. Wrong hand. <laughs> there we go. Forgot I was right-handed. There we go. Uh, oh my gosh, it doesn't yeah, want to do it. There it is. And I saw something on this sign over here. Some people just get a bun. Some and people get chili. a chili bun. Yep. They can do it on a hamburger bun or a hot dog bun. Wow. Because our chili is pretty good. If Those I do are say big so hot myself. hot dogs. Those are long. Okay. And so then it comes with your chili you've got going this morning. Just for you, Alex. We got it going early. Oh my gosh! <laughs> like the nostalgia of this, I feel like is what draws people in. Is that how you feel too? It is. I think it, again, it's just a little bit of a throwback. We we'll do the classic mustard and ketchup. Oh, this is controversial. I love mustard and ketchup on a dog, guys. Um, Damien, how do you take it? I like mustard and ketchup. Okay. Shredded cheese, which is what we're going to do here. Okay. But you're right. There are two kinds of people in the world: those that like the mustard and ketchup, and those that don't. Uh, ketchup goes big with the kids. Okay. Uh, mom comes up and gets, usually it's ketchup, I can almost guess. All and right. there's your two chili dog combo. Perfect. Let's open this one up, guys. Here's the question. Mustard and ketchup, how do we feel about it? Uh, I would do no. mustard and ketchup or chili. I don't know about all together. What about you guys? No, I would just what? do, I'm just a mustard hot dog person. Alex, just mustard. Mo is okay. not here, but she said after 11 years old, you're not allowed to put ketchup on your hot dog. <laughs> ketchup is for oh, fries, she's telling that's me. That's a good rule. Mo's a hater. <laughs> All right. That makes sense. That's a good rule. But I mean, it, it did look like it was really good. There's so many so toppings good. there. And they, I'm sure they sell out of those.